Hi all, let us see how we can turn off email notification in the Google Classroom. So let us join with me for this step-by-step -step demonstration of how to turn off the email notification. Generally, once you joined any Google Classroom or you acted as a teacher in any Google Classroom, automatically you may get this kind of notifications. Even the teachers post any material or the students post any material, the teachers and they may get a lot of notification. Then how we can stop this kind of things? So for stopping, we have to go to our Google Classrooms. As all of you know how to reach the Google Classroom, we can click the nine dots. That is nothing but the Google Apps. There we have to find the Google Classroom icon. Once you press the Google Classroom icon, automatically release the, the home page of our Google Classroom. So this is my Google Classroom interface. I'm already having the four classrooms. So all the classroom I may act as these teachers here. Now I like to stop the notifications or how we can turn off the notification in the Google Classroom. For this, I'm going to highlight the step-by-step -step process. So after reaching this interface, we have to go to the left corner. In the left corner, we are finding the three line. So that three line is nothing but the main menu button. Once you press the, the left top corner, we can get the other small pop-up menu. So in this pop-up menu, you are finding the lot of options like classes, calendar, and the classes which you created from your end, this also is my visible here. And if it comes down, we can find the archive class. Then finally, we are getting the settings. So this is a setting options only we are going to use for stop or turn off the notification of the email. So once I press this setting, it leads the next interface. There we have to find the profile, the changing uh, options and all. Now this is the main options we are going to focus here. That is called notification. Suppose I like to stop all the email notifications. I had to turn off this one. So once it turn off, I didn't get any kind of notification. Even the students post or the teachers post, even the private comments or the teachers, uh, even the students uh, give the what is the late submission of the student work. Nothing it may receive from my end as a mail notifications. So this is a main important turn off button. But instead of that, suppose if you press it here, if you turn off here, you cannot get any notification. But there is a separate option they provide. Even we can go with some kind of class specific based. So I have the four classrooms. I like to stop the notification only for the two classrooms, like the PG diploma course. So for example, I like to stop this notification. So once I press, once I turn off this one, automatically in future, I didn't receive any notification through my mail. So even the students posted or the teachers posted any materials in the Google Classrooms, so I didn't get any no notification from my end. And similarly, I'm going to stop the other class that's for certificate course. So it seems that out of four classes, I may stop the uh, I, or I may uh, turn off the two class notifications. In this ma mode, we have to be turn off the notification. And suppose you like to stop some specific notification only so there is they given some kind of specific like a comment suppose you like to stop the comments on your post notification you have to turn off this one this is for the comments that mention you this is for the private comments on work so which is the comment based notification you want to stop you have to stop from here it's nothing but just to press the, the turn off button and similarly there's other options also they provide like a class you teach so in this uh, class you teach they given the four options late submission of student work then resubmission of the student work, invitation of code teach classes and schedule posts, bubbly star file. So which is better? Suppose you like to stop in specific clusters to teach options, you have to stop the notifications. But now in this example or in this demonstration, just I'm going to stop the, the two classroom notifications totally. So it means that once I press here, I didn't get any notifications, even the comment based or the classes you teach based, nothing to be reached my end. So I hope this videos might be helping you a lot to lead further to use the Google Classroom. Thank you all. We'll meet the next video.